The following is a presentation of TFNN. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Right now, we get the Dow Industrials uh, down 132, Nasdaq's off 35, S&Ps are uh, down 18. And, uh, you know, this morning, folks, uh, we get a great guest to kick off the morning for you as everyone's uh, driving across this uh, great country. We have Graham Briggs. Graham is the chief executive officer of Harmony Gold. Harmony Gold, folks, uh, produced 1.3 million ounces. That's with a big M, folks. A uh, million ounces of, of gold uh, last year. Uh, you can come over to our website at tfnn.com and you're going to see if you're watching Tiger TV or if you uh, do the archive later, you're going to see we have a presentation up and we're talking about creating a sustainable company, uh, earn, generating earnings that fund dividends and growth with free cash flow. Graham Briggs, welcome back to TFNN. Hi, Tom. Great to hear your voice again. You too. I'll tell you, you know... Um, you know, 1.3 ounces, million ounces of gold uh, is absolutely amazing. What is just as amazing, though, is that we have the RAND trading at uh, 8.4. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, of course, good news for us, Tom. Um, it doesn't necessarily respond in the share price, but, of course, the, uh, the RAND uh, weakening like that means that we get more RAND for our gold and our gold we sell in dollars so uh, yes. good news for us here in harmony in south africa yes you know i was just saying to my talk host partner steve rhodes here graham that i says this is a real sleeper you know he had asked me you know right before getting on he says well you know how does the chart look i says man it looks di see to me it looks dynamite because i i really i understand you know how it came down but i really the, the correlation the true value is absolutely amazing. Well, let, let's walk through it because you, you got it inside this presentation. So tell us what's happening with Harmony now. Well, Tom, uh, I think, you know, we've gone through lots of restructuring over the last few years. Uh, we're now in a state where we've really, uh, we bottomed out at sort of 1.3, but closing some of the a lower grade operation focusing on the higher grade. Yes. And uh, and so we are growing from here forward in South Africa. We've uh, basically had several projects and they're coming online. They actually uh, in the coming year will certainly produce free cash flow after all their capital expenditure. So that's good. Uh, before this they've been in the capital expenditure phase. And then uh, we've got this great project in uh, in uh, Papua New Guinea. Yes. Um, here in South Africa, we produce most of our gold. 92% or so of our gold is produced here in South Africa. And, of course, fully exposed to that RAND, uh, that RAND exchange rate that you're talking about. Uh, so that's all good news. And, um, and then on top of it, of course, there's all the woes in the world on the financial markets. And... As you know, resource shares have taken a big knock lately. Yes. It looks like they've all bottomed out and are heading upwards again. So uh, that's all good news. Well, you know what's intriguing, and, and this is, I think, over the course of the last, you know, 10 to 12 years, I remember flat out, you know, in 2001, you know, Harmony paying big dividends, okay? And, you know, let's say whether we take the Canadian um Gold equities, I, I think what people, you, you certainly saw it because you were always cognizant of the RAND dollar and, and how important it was. But what happened across the world is that people just didn't realize that, oh my God, the Canadian dollar would get so high, the Australian dollar would get so high that their expenses would go up more so than the price of gold. So it was, it was, it's kind of interesting what has actually happened. And, and of course, now the dollar's go, uh, U.S. dollar is going up. The Rand dollar um, is is getting weaker, which is just um, you know a cash flow positive, extraordinary in, inside you know South Africa in general and Harmony in general. Yeah, Tom, when you're in an environment where the uh, your currency is stronger than the dollar, of course the dollar being the ultimate uh, the value which everyone measures gold price in. Yes. Of course, when your when your when your exchange rate is stronger, then you suffer. When it's weaker, then you have all the benefits, and uh, we've got the benefits right now. As you rightly point out, uh, Australia and Canada and the like are probably tr on, on a par with the uh, U.S. dollar, and therefore um, they have um, got a bit of headwind. You know, um, when, when I'm looking at the presentation here, the, 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 the earnings spike that you had uh, December, you know, of... Uh 
11 in March of uh, 2012. That's pretty dramatic, isn't it? Yeah, Tom, we, we've, uh, you know, we've really been turning the company around. So um, the, it's good to have the company being turned around as well as, uh, you know, a little bit of wind from behind as for the exchange rates and the dollar price, of course, is still good. It's not as good as it has been uh, in the last year or so, but uh, it's still at a very good price in, in rents per kilogram terms. Now, let, let's talk a little bit about, you know, we, we get Papua New Guinea. Now, this Papua New Guinea, I mean, this is uh, an incredible find. Yeah, it certainly is, uh, Tom. As, as your listeners will know, this is a copper gold porphyry. Uh, it's one of the big ones of the world. It's, uh, of course, what really makes it quite fantastic is a high grade. So it's got good copper grades and good gold grades. And uh, we are in a joint venture with Newcrest Mining, that's an Australian company. And uh, we are in pre-feasibility at the moment. Uh, we finished that at the end of June. We'll hopefully have the results of that pre-feasibility out by the end of uh, probably in August sometime. And uh, then people will be able to see sort of how magnificent it is and uh, what sort of mining scenarios we'll have. Yes. Now, after... after a pre-feasibility study, that is the, what is the next uh, level after that, Graham? Yeah, Tom, the pre-feasibility is like the very initial uh, study where you can see if it's economically viable to, to mine the deposits. Okay. Then we go into what we call a bankable feasibility. Uh, that has got a, enough confidence so that if a project were to be looking to borrow money from a bank, yes. uh, they could borrow money on it. And that's why it's called a bankable feasibility. And then uh, soon after that, you go into construction and you start building the mine. This mine is, is going to be a big mine, uh, underground block cave. Uh, so it will take quite a bit of uh, effort to get it going and construct it. And um, we are certainly at the moment hoping that uh, we'll get early production towards the end of 2017 or early 2018. Somewhere in that, in that ballpark we'll have uh, early production from this mine. You know, uh, if I can change gears on you for a second, I saw, you know, I mean, it, it's been a long time now, but like about five years ago, uh, there was problems with, in South Africa with the electricity, and I saw that you, you are basically starting a project, a solar project, right? Yeah, Tom, we, we do, uh, you know, electricity has been quite tight on supply here in South Africa since 2008. And so um, besides saving and doing all the good things with technology, uh, obviously looking at alternatives. And uh, although alternates won't ever supply our full energy needs, um, where we've got uh, abilities, and of course, as you know, South Africa is known for its good sunshine, great right weather. Yes. And therefore, uh, we've got some land, and that's the obvious choice to really look at that sort of project and see how viable it would be. You know, can you just explain just, just uh, once again that when... You're selling gold in U.S. dollars, right? And all your expenses are in Rand. So if you can just explain that to your audience just a little, because that, that part there is, is exponential, it seems. Yeah. Um, yes, Tom, for sure. So our, our costs uh, here in South Africa are mainly in Rand. Yes. And that is salaries, uh, electricity and the like is all in Rand. And folks, they've got 300,000 employees. <laughs> Yeah, we've got uh, 40,000 people working for us here in South Africa. That's uh, employees as well as contractors. And, uh, and so most of our costs, probably 80% of our costs, are in rands, denomination local currency. Yes. And therefore, they don't vary with the dollar. Now, we sell our gold uh, in dollars. So if the conversion rate of dollars into rands is better, in other words, our currency is weaker, we get more revenue. And so we get better revenue if our rand is weaker for the same gold price. Amazing. Uh, Grant, uh, Graham, thank you so much. You have a great one. You have a safe one. Thank you very much, Tom. Speak to you again sometime. Absolutely. We're going to be right back, folks. 
Kate Stalter's exciting newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, has just launched, and now is a great time to get a two-week free trial. Every Wednesday afternoon, Kate sends out her weekly newsletter to her subscribers, where she focuses on small-cap stocks with market caps under $2 billion, as well as low-priced equities with share prices ranging from $5 to $12. Kate tracks a variety of stocks with a combination of strong technical support and solid fundamentals. Many of the stocks featured will be recent IPOs. These newer issues are often some of the biggest price gainers in the market and provide an excellent opportunity for substantial gains if timed correctly. You can catch Kate Stalter live on Tiger TV with her small cap roundup every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and visit TFNN.com right now to get your two-week free trial to her brand new newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, while locking in the low introductory monthly rate of only $37.50 per month, almost a 50% discount. Discount. Act now. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakouts gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shree's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. It's that time of year again, and the Great Panther Silver Summer Silver Giveaway is back. Every day in June, Monday through Friday, we'll be giving away a Great Panther Silver 1-ounce silver bar, and all you have to do to enter is visit the front page of TFNN.com and fill out your entry. Great Panther Silver and TFNN wishing you a great start to the summer. Sign up today to have a chance to win a 1-ounce silver bar during the Great Panther Silver Summer Silver Giveaway the whole month of June at TFNN.com. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. But you get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighted at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. And, folks, uh, you, you just listen to uh, Graham Briggs. You can come over to our website at TFNN.com, and you're going to see the Harmony banner. You take the Harmony banner. You press that banner, it'll bring you right over to the Harmony page. You're going to see the presentation uh, that we were just going through. What you want to wrap your head around, folks, in a big way. Now, this is what's really cool, man. You know, and, and this is where, because I've been, well, you know, I, 
No, we, it, we it, started... the, the fundamental aspect of, uh, of your knowledge of all of the gold equities and then being able to put some fundamental aspects together with the chart patterns right. is is something that's uh, it's unparalleled. That, you know, there yeah. are not folks out there that have put put those pieces of the puzzle together, and it's really critical. Yeah, oh, and let because me... it is such an underlining aspect of the uh, of 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 the future stock price based on what's it, going it on. You know, it's as if you're taking a look at earnings before the earnings release because you have some information with regard to the way that... Uh, that, that the rand the, is trading. Yeah. It's, and it's sitting right in front of us, folks. This is the amazing pot. So, so picture this. Uh, as Graham said, they have 40,000 employees. So picture. All their payments are in rand dollars. Yes. They get paid in U.S. dollars. Yes. Now, so picture something. As... as as the as the gold price, even the gold price can get out of another two hundred bucks, and it's still sure. not going to matter because the, if the rand will be up at eleven, they'll make more money than when gold was at nineteen. No, no, absolutely, which is insane. It, it, yeah, yeah, but that's how it works. Statement. Okay, that's so right. no. it's important to understand that correlation because the correlation, folks, is over the top, and and unfortunately, over the course of even the last five or six years, folks, there's there's plenty of folks that were actually in the business that absolutely did not understand, and we you, we talk about. What the currency aspect is. Yeah. It yeah. Just, as I said to Graham, the, the Canadian stocks, everyone think that, hey, you know, hey, listen, I thought it at one point. You know, years ago, I thought the same thing, that, that all you had to worry about was the price of gold. Well, no. The, if you're in the gold market, you have to absolutely worry about currencies. In fact, in any market now, you got to understand currencies. Yeah, you do. You, you know? do. I mean, that, that's where, you know, you take a look at the great run from the March lows, 2009, right. to, you know, the highs of uh, March, uh, or May uh, 2011. Right. Uh, and you take a look at the weakness in the dollar. So you had all of the uh, Dow stocks out. You had all kinds of stocks out there that, you know, benefited from being able to, you know, generate more sales revenue because it was cheaper for Folks to buy product, it, exactly. not necessarily in the U.S. Exactly. You know, but in the U.S. It was, it was a little bit more transparent. You know, right? Was, and and you know, if we look at Harmony, so you're going to see two different charts here. First, first one's Harmony up in South Africa, and what you'll see, you know, you just like and the rest of the golds have come down. Now, this is what makes this really cool. Okay, you know, when Rand dollars we've come down from eleven thousand to eight thousand. Yeah. And now look what you have in here, though. There's a sign of strength on yes. the ninth. You get another sign of strength on the. What the fifteenth, and you get a real yeah, sweet yeah, that's one, a nice one there. up there on the twenty fourth. Now, as that backs in, folks, that's where it's going to be. And you know, it's it's if we bring this. No, the over, setup is, is it the exact same? It's not exa the exact same way in the U.S. Chart, no, though. I'm bringing it in. Yeah, yeah. it is. So, oh, is it? Okay. so watch, watch. Okay. This, what's so cool about this too, folks, is that you can go and I, you know. You know, on the South Africans, I always go right to their own market. Cause yes. It's, it, it, it's yeah. you know, it's, it's liquid. It has all the above. Yeah. Because so you can see the same monster. See that right there. That's that same more. Oh, actually, it's right there. Yeah. So someone stepped in, even in the United States. They probably a big fund probably stepped in South Africa. They stepped in the United States. Yes. So what you have there is that you went up on two point eight million. Well, you're going to come back today on a million. Okay. That this thing is setting up now. Watch this. I'll bring you over to the Rand. This is where this thing is just over the top. Yeah. The Rand, folks, is breaking is breaking over B points today, and you know it looks to me that eight. Yeah, the rand's gonna end up at ten bucks or nine bucks. That's insane. That's that's they. He might as well have a printing press right beside his desk. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man. Uh, you know, and because it all. You know, see what happened is that it only stayed up there, folks. From uh, the last time, two thousand eight, it stayed up there to two thousand nine for. And then let me bring this all the way back. So here, here's the big one. That's when gold first started. In 2001, it actually went to 13, okay. 8 to 13. Okay. And they just printed money. And it, Now, picture something, good folks. The RAND was at the 8 to, you know, let's say let's say it averaged out about 950, even though it went to 13. Yes. But yes, gold yes, was yes, only yes, at 325. Right, exactly. Gold was exactly. at 325. Right. Yeah. You know, wild. So, now market-wise, let's see what we got out here. You know, um... Let's see. So we got a market, baby. We got a market, man. Uh, yeah, we got a trader's paradise. There's no doubt about it, man. There's no doubt about it. It's it's one of those time frames, you know. And I was pointing out during the uh, first hour, one of those time frames where you know our our artwork is the charts, right? And you know, I take a look at what I what what I've most appreciate about understanding. Uh, the Fibonacci expansion contraction numbers and right. all that you know they're they're leading indicators because yes. you're able to draw these patterns out ahead of time right and when they all start coming together at the same point 
when you start seeing, you know, it, it's it's a great day of information. We're all searching for for information or knowledge, you know. And now you can we can we can wait. We can let the market confirm for us what it's going to do. That's right. And and you don't, you know, the daily chart's got a butterfly on the uh, euro that has completed close enough okay. to completion because that was at one point two three eight five one. It got down. So far, to a low of uh, 1.24057. To me, that's okay. to me that's close enough. Sure, uh, you know that's a and we have on the weekly chart you got a Gartley uh, buy pattern. Oh baby! And on the monthly chart you're you're inside the swing point, um, but you're testing. You're not so far into it that it can't reject it in that area for the time being. Right now, where it comes from it comes out of nowhere. You know, I don't know what 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 reverses things, but right. you know. Uh, yeah, I'm actually, you know, looking to buy the euro. Right. No, <laughs> you know, listen, which, I know, man. You know, I mean, certainly people would listen to, uh, hey, I, I, to I, me I, trade, and they would they would think, in the long, look, longer term, I think the euro is going much, much lower. But to me, this is all about taking a look at the information the market gives you and making a trading decision and leave. Check your opinions at the door. Well, listen to this, folks. You're going to love this. So, I, you know, Steve, of course, kicks off TFNN. I walk in, I walk in the studio. I says, oh, I bought the gap. <laughs> and he looks at me and says, oh, I'm going to buy the euro. <laughs> Which is, uh... And so, yeah, so in, in both cases, see, what, what you have, folks, is that when, when in, in both cases, what you're looking at is you're, you're looking at, okay, where can this thing go? And uh, this morning, I just, I, I love gap downs anyway, or gap ups. Yeah, because way. of the energy. Yeah, the energy, the, the, the energy, that energy it gets expended. To, yeah. And then what you had here, now this was a classic, okay? Because what you had, if you remember the last time, first off, if you go, you, you know, I got a 10 minute up, but if you go at 1440 yeah. on the 24th, right? Right, right, right. Well, guess what's there? Yeah, you know, big you get volume. A, you get a high volume, folks, yeah. at $61.89. I says, okay, that's my cover. Right, exactly. Okay. No, it that, is. It totally so, is. So that's the cover. Now, watch where the buy is, though. But you had, a, you had the gap. Yes. Okay, at 62.04. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. No, no. I said, okay. Yeah. Bang there. Now, now watch this, though. This is where this gets interesting. What we had yesterday, folks, and this is subtle, but it's in here. It's actually not yesterday. It's right. It's on the 24th. Yeah. No, absolutely. That 24th, that was actually pushing... With volume, yeah, it, pushing, exactly. Push. It, so that's saying, right? Uh, that's look, saying, hey, we, it, it, it wants. Even yesterday had some volume. Yeah, it wants to spike up. <clears throat> In fact, the uh, small caps were were surprised to me when I was taking yeah, they the were. small cap yeah. chart. I was like, man, yeah. I wish it didn't have so much turbulence overhead. Yeah, you know, no, it's, no, it's got some things it's going to run into, yeah. but the chart set right. looked pretty good. Right, and we're talking about a trade, folks. That's what that's we're right. talking about. Absolutely. But it's a nice trade. That's it's right. a nice trade. That's right. Because of course the bulls are running. The bulls think it's bad, and the bears are buying. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigers, as we appreciate you being out here. The Dow's down 124, NASDAQ off 33, S&P's are off 17. We're going to bring it back. Would you like a personal update from Tom O'Brien as to what equities he's trading and what his daily trading plan is before the market opens each morning? Every market day, Tom O'Brien sends out his daily newsletter, Market Insights, to hundreds of subscribers that rely on his daily recommendations when it comes to navigating these highly volatile markets we're dealing with. As recently as May 21st, Market Insights subscribers closed out all five open positions for a combined profit of over 68% in one day. Profits ranged from 6.5% to over 24%, and all of these trades had been initiated within the previous 30 days. Now is the perfect time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's explosive trading newsletter, Market Insights, an $85 value. Tom breaks down the market each morning with his market take and provides trade recommendations including precise stops and target profit zones, leaving nothing left to guessing. Log on to TFNN.com today and sign up for your two-week free trial. Make sure you're a subscriber the next time Market Insights subscribers close out multiple winning trades. Take action and sign up for your free trial today. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become 
become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation Location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney Financial Advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, First Vice President and Certified Financial Planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. Member SIPC. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when temporary market spikes move against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the advantage of keeping your trades open even when the market temporarily spikes against you. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique short-term binary options that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. Right now, you get uh, Ford off uh, 27. You get uh, Research in Motion down uh, 88. Intel's off 8. You get Citigroup down 74. Uh, Pep Boys, Manny Pep Boys, they got something happening with them. The AutoZone must be blowing them away. It's on 237. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's action out here. I think what you, let me just see the volume here for a second. I suspect you're going to get rejection at lower price. 153. Uh, there you go. No there's volume. nothing. There's no, no volume. There's no juice behind the move, folks. Uh, 379 on the NASDAQ. Uh, so, um, bottom line is that, uh, this looks to me like you're going to end another rejection. This, this market, it wants to do this bounce, baby. Yes, it does. It wants to <laughs> boing. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Warren in Denver, Colorado. Hey, Warren, what's going on? Howdy, Tom. Hey, Steve. How you doing, man? Good, good. Uh, excellent. I, I have a junk bond question. Okay. And this is about the stock called PHK. It's PIMGO High Yield Bond Fund. And according to Barron's, this trades at a 67% premium to its net asset value. So I need to know how vulnerable this really is. It, it, it Sell is it right now. Okay, I don't own it right now. I want to short this on the bounce. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't short it because it's just because of what the premium. Yeah. Because it has such a huge premium to its NAV. Let me just see something. So, if you put it on a long-term chart, it has volume at the bottom. I closed in management. Can you even shot this? Can you get the shares? Yeah. Interesting. Um, well, okay. So let's talk about it's not what, a mutual fund. It's an actual, you know, closed-in. No, I'm with that. Okay, so let's talk about um, what exactly that this premium means. Okay, so what you have here, folks, is this: the, the, the stock is at thirteen dollars. If you sold everything that is inside this 
fund, okay, what would end up happening is that it would be approximately worth what? Uh, well, the NAV, I can tell you, the, what, $8? Yeah. Okay? Easily. So what people are doing, folks, is that they're paying, you know, $13 to something that's worth 8 And that always ends in a disaster. It's just, you know, it absolutely does. You know, and that's what happened with the VIX product. You know, people still, it's amazing right. to me that it, what ends up happening is that they, they turn around, they don't even understand what, what's going on with the VIX product. You know, that, and that's what was going on with it. So, um, so do you think those volumes at the bottom, like in... Yeah, it's going to get tested. That's in the... Yeah, they are. And, okay. And that's you now which gets wild here. So check this out, folks. This is amazing. We got to get, I got to get do the math behind this. Um, because the, the highs of the lows of 2009 is $8.81. And it would be a total mind blower if that's a net asset yeah, value. Exactly. Uh, right. It's 770 is the, yeah. you know, in essence is it. So, okay, so, so that's it. So, it's, yeah, so yeah it's, fire away, man. Okay, will there be a little bounce in here, do you think, on the daily, or is it time? You're at the highs. Yeah. Right. I mean, you don't what have are, what are you trying to do? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's trying to get the last tick. Folks, he's, he's talking quarter. about 11 yeah. pennies. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Thanks, you guys. Uh, okay, Let's man. Day on Harmony. I loved it, man. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. yeah. You. Did you, you got to understand that, how that Harmony moves, right? Yeah, that, that's perfect. I mean, they're making a lot more money based on a weaker rand. Right. Right. Got it. Okay, I'll, thanks, guys. I'll have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Um, over in Europe right now, you get the, what, the FTSE's off 82, the DAX is off 99. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, so the, see, the foot, they, they, can't, they can't croak this FTSE. The FTSE, you know, it, it's down, but what it's doing, let me just see what kind of energy we got. So watch what it's doing, folks. This, this whole thing's going to bounce. So the low that as we went from 6,000 down to 5,000, 5,300, that low is 1.2 billion. Then we tested it with 928 million, and now this is going to come in lighter than that. So this wants to bounce too. Yeah. And what you can get out of this, this is what's really cool, folks. Depending on how long you know you've been out here listening to us, what you're really going to get. See, if you're listening only a short amount of time, well, maybe five years or ten years, you think we're just beers. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. But what I, what I want you to understand, folks, is that you can you can move both sides of the market. You know, I'm, that's, a, I'm a non-denominational trader. Yeah. Either, either way, you know, uh, bullish or which, whatever the charts say. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just simply nothing more than just trading chart patterns, whether it's volume, whether it's swing points, right. whether it's uh, uh, Gartley's or Butterflies. But you know, or, I know, I agree, but all I'm know. trying to explain, you know as well as oh, me, I do. that what yeah. ends up happening is that many times, I'd say when I first started this, everyone just thought I was only a bull. Yeah. Okay. Then all of a sudden, I went shot in 1999, and it was a heresy. They, everyone was going to put me into hell. I mean, it was there was the biggest. Oh, let me yeah. tell you, there was there was oh. revolts everywhere. Oh, okay. Baby. Now the next time, though, let me tell you something. There were revolts for all the bears when I went long in 2003. <laughs> they were flipping. They were saying, "Oh, this," because it, it, it's funny. All you know, you pick no, up no, people I... along the way, and and some people want to be just one animal. Yeah. Yeah. And we're tigers. Oh, we are tigers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, let's see what we got out here. Now, the, the, the cues, you know, the, the, today, yeah, well, let's let's look at the whole indice. Because what, what we have happening, it looks like the NDX is holding up better than anything, actually. Oh, the, the composite's down 1.3, but the NDX is... NDX is 1.27, okay. so NDX... So, so are, they're all... Yeah. The, yeah. No, the Dow's actually yeah, better. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Dow is. Yeah. The Dow, the Dow just, just slightly. 30 stocks, just slightly. Yeah. It's, look, it's looking better, but there still is not a... Uh, well, the only thing green... Is uh, AT and T's up four pennies? That's a beautiful inside thing. the. Uh, That's now. a beautiful. Thing. But uh, you know, if, if if you look at what's trading to the uh, the lo the leader dollar wise is Caterpillar, which we know Caterpillar, Caterpillar, Chevron, and uh, IBM are the uh, three leaders to the uh, downside. Yeah, yeah. Caterpillar's down two dollars and seventy six cents. Uh, uh, Chevron's down uh, two bucks. Look at that. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, what's Big Blue? What's Big Blue doing out here? So, off, uh, off a buck 69. No okay. volume, though. Yeah. And look, see, this is where the drifting takes place. Interesting, you know? She still wants to come down there, so. We're going to have a fun four months here, because when I say four months, folks, what you have, when these, um, 
market start moving like this uh, before the summer, what ends up happening is that you have big movement from now. I suspect we'll have big movement now until about the second week of July. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we'll calm down for like a week or two and then get out of the way, man. <laughs> I'm serious. Because what happens, folks, is that the um, they'll, they'll, it'll take a breather. Uh, but what ends up happening at the beginning, people don't take anything seriously. Then all of a sudden they go on vacation. They come back and say, what just happened to my account? Yeah. And then, oh, no, then sure, it gets sure, to be serious sure. business. Yeah, it you does. Know. It does. So one, one, the number was 1.23851 if it was going to be able to hit exact. That was the... That was the uh, butterfly buy pattern okay. set up. Got down so far down to one point two three eight seven nine. Okay, it, I mean that is that is beautiful. That is it, beautiful. it is. It's, it's you know what I see you know too. it's really great to be able to now 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 it's a matter of the uh, intraday charts, uh, thirty minute, fifteen minute, and waiting for some type of bullish signal. Well, it I, hasn't I, happened yet. I think what I'm going to have to do here yeah, is... Yeah, you got to go over to Nadex. Nade yeah. I mean, well, this is, a, this is an absolute Nadex trade. There's no question. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, you would, I would take that trade on Nadex in a heartbeat. In fact, you probably ought to be able to find... Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. We're going to... Folks, if you haven't test drove Nadex yet, come over to our website at TFNN. And you're going to see the Nadex banner. Now, the Nadex is a, a, a new exchange. You can do bull spreads on it. And the bull spreads, you can buy them or sell them. And I'll do one right now. So I'm going to do... Okay, so I have it up. So the Euro USD, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is what I have. These are the choices. I'll do the... And, yeah, should... and what's the time period? Yeah, so I mean, no, this is it. cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. I have, a, I have one till noon time. And on noon time, let's see. What number are we at? One, two, three, nine. Let me see what I can get here. One, two, one, two, three, one, ten. So one, two, nine, three. But my loss on that goes down to ten. Let me see how this would work. So if I bought five at one, two, three. Nine five. No one. Oh, it'd be nice if I put the decimal point in there. Yeah. One point <laughs> two three nine five. No, I don't want that one. Because it's it's nine two. It's oh, is it? Oh, I see. It's a one two three nine seven right now, right? Yeah. That risk reward doesn't work. Okay, hold on. Let me go. Now, is there a longer term? Yeah, that's where I'm going to go. I'll I'll go think to the, the, I think this is a better setup for a longer term than Okay, a, than so what I'll do day. here is I'm going to go to the one. Uh, this trade would end at 3 o'clock this afternoon. One, two. The bottom, one, two, four, four. That's too far away, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So one, two. Three. What we're trying to do here, folks, is that there's a ceiling, there's a there's a floor and a ceiling, and I'm trying to get as close to the floor as possible. Now, oh. is, there, is there also is there a weekly? Is there a weekly? Uh, chart yeah, there, there is. What would be the weekly options on this? Um, oh no, no, there's not. There's no, not. There's okay, not. so just the just the uh, there's just not. the day. Yeah. I just keep twenty three ninety five, twenty twenty three fifteen. That's going to be the one. That looks like. The one I have where's, to do. where's it got to bounce to? What's the price point that it has to bounce to? 20, What's the before we start getting into money on that? Uh, it, this one here is every tick is in the money. Yeah. Where, where my downside is though, I can lose from here until twenty three fifteen. Twenty three fifteen. Okay. Yeah. So if I go one point two three nine nine. Oh, I'll take this one. one. Point, okay. Okay, so this is what's going on. I'm going to risk $420 to make 830 and that's saying I won't lose anything until we go under one point. Well, on this spread here, you get 23 here. I'm just, let me do it first. Figure this out. Easy. Okay. So I need, we're at 2376 right now, okay? Right. So for every tick under the 76. Yeah, I'm losing. That's the bottom line. But the most I can lose is 400, and the most I can make is 800. And I make 800 if we go to 20... 24.02, is that the uh, price point? 24... 
24, one second. One, two. Well, the 125, 65. 125, 25. 125, 65. Okay. And that's by? By 3 o'clock this three, afternoon. Okay. That's quite a move, though. That right? would be, yeah. Yeah, that's that's an insane. Yeah. Move. That's that's why I like this. I would like to see a weekly. A weekly, on that. yeah. That that would be a cool. The daily. Let me see the daily. The daily. They're saying, I don't know what the daily. I gotta find out find out when the daily expires. I oh, just. So if you did this one, five one point two four zero zero. Sorry about this, folks. Yeah, that's Wait. okay. That's okay. Hey, One, we're having fun, one, though. Two, we're having, four, zero. Can't be sorry about having fun. Now, this is interesting. So on the daily, you'd be risking this one here. Oh, this is a pretty cool one. So watch how this one works. I'm going to do this one. So the way this one works, I risked 1,000 to make three. But the, the, this could go under the 2190 as many times as it wanted all day long. And I wouldn't lose more than the 1,000. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, right. So right, that's what right. you have. So what you have here, folks, is this, is that the, on the daily one, it doesn't matter how many times it goes under 2190, you know, I, I lose the $1,000. But every single time that it gets over the 2395, I'm making money. Yeah. And where are we right now? I got to put it right back. 2398. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's the one we have. Okay. I love it. Let's go to uh, Larry in San Francisco. Hey, Larry, what's going on? Hey, Tommy. How you doing, buddy? Doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Yeah, I am. Cool. Listen, yesterday I heard from you in the afternoon that we should fire away at the IWM at 7814. And the way it's looking today, it sure don't look like it's going to make 7814 today. But I was just wondering, have you changed that number at all? Or are we still the same? You mean the guy that or, called me wants to go shot? Yeah, to fire away short at, on the IWM at 78.14. That was what your number was yesterday, just before you closed. Uh... No, no, let's get this straight. A guy called me and wanted to go shot. And I said, no, don't go shot until it gets up to that number. Right. Right. Yeah, so you just have to have patience. <laughs> and you said, go ahead and fire away at 78.14. So what, uh, what I'm saying is... is is that number still good for today? Well, it's good. It's 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 good. It's just it's that, that doesn't when he said fire away. And I'm speaking for Tom. No, 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 no. He wasn't saying it was going to happen today. He didn't give you the time the timing of when that would happen. He was saying at that price right. point, at that price point, you would fire away. Okay. I was just looking at the market today, and it certainly didn't look like it happened. Today. Yeah, you don't you don't get what what was what was yeah, said. Yeah. Stay right there. We're gonna get this. Straightened out. Okay, man. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We get Larry from San Francisco. We got all you tigers and tigresses out here, folks. We have the Dow down 158. Nasdaq off 40. S&P's off 20. We're gonna be right back. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. 
At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. but you get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Well, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighed of that was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Fernstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister Mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York Stock Exchanges under the symbol GBG. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow right now uh, down 147. NASDAQ off 37. S&Ps are off 20. We had Larry from San Francisco. So, Larry, let's go over this for a second. What the, the, the bottom line is that if you're looking for the IWM, right now the IWM is a buy. You did? Yeah, but, okay, I understand that. Okay, right. so the sell, we we get in the sell. I mean, I, I actually, well, we didn't buy the IWM. I bought the QQQ this morning, okay, on the gap down after it hit a gap. So the IWM, after this, you know, downdraft gets over, I expect that you'll see a bounce to that exact number that I'm talking about, the 78.14. The 78.14 is the... April 10th downdraft, and you're going to see the amount of volume there is 101 million. Okay, all right. I misunderstood. Okay, but, man. Uh, okay, it's not going to happen today, though, that's for sure. <laughs> Hey, anything, right. can, anything can happen in the markets, but, but yes, you're right. Well, I, did, I just did today. help you today. Yeah. I told you to go long. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate Yeah, and I understand what the message is. Definitely. Okay. Have a great one, cool, man. man. Have a safe one. Cool, man. Okay. Um, King, the King. So yeah. the King is uh, finishing up a uh, finished up a, a Gertley uh, sell pattern too. One point two seven two Gertley and sell pattern. The, the King here, folks. It's okay, beauty. so it, it really is. Uh, and and you, you know, just like we say, nothing is up forever, nothing is down forever. But I, what I expect you, you're going to see here um, is you'll you'll build you'll build cause. I mean, the King wants to go to um, eighty nine. Yeah. You know, but what you have and what do you think it pulls back to eighty one, eighty? Um. Well, you, you take what? Okay, you're going to come all the way. Yeah. 
You know, you can do eight, eight well, it doesn't, it only has to do 8204. <laughs> no, yes. It doesn't have to do much. Yeah. But you know what? I think what you'll have here is this. So picture this, folks. What, what, what we're saying is that, you know, this is a dead cat bounce, meaning in the marketplace, right? So that can go up. The king can pull back to 80. Mm. Well, it, you know, yeah. I mean, you're, the, the volume bar, I suppose, is really. Oh, it's real. It's, yeah. It's real. You I know, mean, that's what but, I'm thinking, now, watch, 8193 yeah, you know, now, from May 18th. Now, watch, you know, I just put this up on a much longer term. Yeah. The, the king, on a continuous contract, it wants to go about 40 more ticks up. Right, right, You know, right. it, it's 80, 8337. It's absolutely 100% move for move. Yeah. You know, and when you do those, folks, that's time for pullback. Now, the deviant part of all of this is that, you know, okay, is, is the market's going to get blown out. Blown out. You know, well, I, I don't think so. The reason that I'm saying that at this point is that the volume is way too light on the destruction. Yeah. Fast price destruction with light volume means that you're going on to the bounce. Yeah. So, a lot of true good, a lot of trades, though, man. Well, yeah. I, look, you got the, the euro absolutely getting crushed. Uh, even the spies have still not gotten down to, it's close, but getting down to the lows of Friday. And the, and the euro is much lower than where we were at on Friday. You know, I think so our, our mothers must have had twins or something, and, and they, I think they transplanted us. <laughs> they did. I love it. I, you know, that's folks, like that. It's like that uh, Danny that. DeVito uh, <laughs> twins movie. <right? laughs> I, Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's you it. know, that's this is movie. this is Tom and Steve, but you know, this might be a different Tom and Steve coming in. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, God! Uh, I'm telling you, it, I love it. It, it, it is bizarre. There's no doubt about it. So. It, when, we say, when we say to, I'm telling poor Larry to buy, he's saying he's in shock, and I don't blame him. The market's down 150 bucks. <laughs> well, isn't the theory you're supposed to uh, buy at the lows and sell at the highs? That's well, Basil song. What, what, Something like what, that. What, ha what yeah. happens is that on in consolidating markets and in, in fast markets, which we have, you know, if you if you buy them right, you know, you don't have to stay in there forever. But you know, the, the bottom line is if you get the bounce, the bounces come in very very quick. And bear and bear markets, folks. The bounces are ba boom. They come out of nowhere. Yeah. And the downdrafts come out of nowhere too. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> this is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. You stay right there, folks. We're going up to Newton, Massachusetts. You're going to be growling proud with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Then Tucson, Arizona. Larry's got his horses out, corrals out. Sarah let him out of the house for a few minutes. Twelve to one. Uh, back here, David White, and myself. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Take care.